How to install the N-Grip Earthquake Resistant Adjuster Fitting. First, please check your equipment's compatibility with the N-Grip. Next, make sure you have all the parts. Base metal parts with gel mats attached. A metal bracket. Hex bolts and washers. And application film. Also, prepare the tools required to install the end grip. Now, let's actually install the end grip. We start by assembling the parts. Assemble the base parts and bracket to sit just above the nut on the adjuster. If the bracket is too high to fix using bolts, flip over to adjust hole height. This initial assembly is easy to do by hand. Once done, attach it to the adjuster and readjust the height. Make sure there's a space less than 5 mm between the bracket and the nut. Set the height, then tighten the bolts firmly to fix the parts in place. Then, remove the end grip for now to finish initial assembly. From here, we will secure the end grip in place. First, wipe away grime from the floor that will be in contact with the gel. Do not use acetone-based solvents, as this will impair the gel's adhesiveness. Remove the protective sheet from the gel and stick on the application film. Fold the film with lots hanging over so that it can be removed later. Install the end grip so that it doesn't stick out from under the equipment. And secure the bolts properly. If using a torque wrench in this step, tighten the bolts to 12.5 Newton meters. Make sure that the base parts and the bracket are level with each other. Do not shift the parts or there will be a space between the gel and the floor. Please make sure that the end grip doesn't shift and stick out when tightening. Once tightened securely, hold the end grip to prevent it from shifting. And remove the film to adhere the gel mat to the floor. If there is unwanted space between the mat and the floor, loosen the bracket to make the gel stick. Make sure the space is gone, then re-tighten the bolts. Finally, make sure the end grip is fixed in place to finish the installation. How to remove the end grip. Remove bolts that secure the bracket to the base parts and remove the bracket. You need a crowbar to remove the remaining base parts. Lay a board or a metal sheet under the crowbar to protect the floor. Then, lever the part up slightly and spray with water to reduce gel adhesion. Slowly lift the part and peel it away from the floor. This concludes the removal process. 
After removal, wash any grime off of the gel mat with water and dry well. If water isn't enough to clean the gel, please use a neutral detergent. If you won't be using the end grip immediately after washing, place the application film on the gel for storage. If the gel mats stick to each other with no film in between, you may not be able to separate them again due to their strong adhesion. Please refer to the manual for details on the gel mats. We have a diverse variety of end grip models to suit all kinds of uses. To prepare for sudden earthquakes. Provide safety and security by protecting people and equipment. We hope N-Grip can do that for you.